So here's part two of the 1950s, about a 52 Varney SW900, 1200, whatever the heck it is. <coughs> I went ahead and painted it, as you can tell. This is all rattle can. I don't have an air compressor. Even if I did, couldn't use it anyway. Rattle can works great. So let me show you what a Pittman motor looks like. And the thing with these locomotives is, that if you'll notice, this is a Pittman motor. Hopefully you can see that. It's pretty detailed. It's a powerful little motor. And I'm not sure if you could put two of these in here, but I don't think it'll fit in the, this one. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe somebody out there has got one with two motors in it. Mine only has one. But the thing with it is, I'm going to show you something. If you turn the truck the opposite way of electrical pickup, and then put this bad boy back on there. And this this problem kicked my butt for like about three days. Let me show you what it does. Nothing. Doesn't do a damn thing. <clears throat> no electrical pickup at all. So I remembered from years ago from the guy that fixed it for me. All he did was turn the truck the opposite way back the way it was. Now we have perfect pickup and our little locomotive will hopefully run let's see if I can get it on there here we go yeah there we go yep oh, and I messed it up oh. It just overheated my transformer. I got an electrical problem somewhere. <clears throat> anyway, I got it running. I got my wife to paint it for me. She'll paint all the detailed stuff like uh, the handrails, tops of the stacks if I want them, footboards. She'll paint all that. She just doesn't know it yet. That's my. 50, 60 year old locomotive still running. Got it back running again. Let's see if it'll run another 20 years. It'd be awesome. Maybe in 20 years I'll do a video on this same locomotive. If I'm still here. Who knows? That's it. Come on, you little sucker. Run so I can brag. There you go. What the hell? Yeah, it just kicked it out. these little things I get some more KD couplers <clears throat> take them off an old car I got coupler boxes I'll just glue on right here it has metal coupler boxes but I'll go ahead and use plastic and these aren't lighted Now so we can get the little bugger to run again. Just heard the box click again. Come on. Come on. Make me look bad. Oh. And it just tinked again. Well, I had it running. Might be a part three then. Anyway, that's it. That's what I've been doing. What have you been doing? Bye.